in the building. Well, super welterweight. Still a super welterweight? Still yeah, super welterweight. Tony Harrison out of Detroit, Michigan. What do you think about these, this card tonight? I just heard you earlier telling Abel that uh, the 120 to 108 was crazy. Uh, what was your thoughts on it? Uh, I mean, I thought, I thought it was a very uh, entertaining fight. Uh, a lot of back and forth. I did have Robert Easter winning uh, slightly, but 120-108 uh, to is, uh, is just... Scores like that is bad for the sport. You it's kind of disrespectful to it's the man's dis effort. Of course, of course, of course. And like I said, every round he gave effort. You know, every round he was pushing, every round he was trying to win. So there's it's, it's no way that you don't see the man not winning out one round and 12 rounds in that, in that kind of fight. I know? easily struggled with three rounds that, you know, could have went either way. Yeah. Uh, what was your thoughts on fellow uh, Super World the way Julian Williams making his return back to the ring tonight? Uh, it was good to see him back, man. You know, it's, it's one of those fights where, where it's good to see him back and, and come back after a loss, um, after his first loss and defeat, you know, uh, me knowing how, how it is. So, you know, it's, it's good to see him back in the ring. He was very sharp. You saw all positive signs, no no hangover, nothing lingering from the um, You know what, uh, I, I, if, if you had to tell me what I saw, I probably saw a little bit of uh, just an inactivity, you know what okay. I mean? And, and that just, you know, it's just time, and that, and that came with time in it, and a little a little sluggish spots every, every year, every now and then, but all in all, you know, to be off uh, seven, eight months, you know, he was very sharp to me. Do you think that Joshua Conley was uh, the perfect opponent to get himself back in? I, I saw he caught a couple of left hands when uh, Conley did try to move forward and mix it up a little bit, but, uh, you know, he didn't press him too much, too hard. Uh, you know what, man, I, I just think the amateur experience that he got, you know, he, he showed a lot of control, he showed a lot of poise. He just he showed, you know, he could take and give, and he stayed in the cut, he stayed in the pocket, and he, he, he kind of showed me that, you know, the loss was is, is behind him. Um, moving on to that opening car, the opening fight on the car with uh, Jamonte Clark. Did you get a chance to see that one with uh, Ivan Gogol? I really didn't, but I got the chance to see the last four rounds of it. What'd you think about that? Uh, I honestly thought uh, I would have gave it three one to the to the to the other guy. To the, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe two two even. You know, if, if you know, because like I said, one of those rounds was kind of close. But uh, you know, it, I did think I did think uh, the, the round Jamonte won. He used his feet very well, used his jab very well. He stayed out the way, and he, made, he landed the cleanest shots. You know what I mean? So um, I think he got to work more on that. But you know, uh, uh, whether a gift or a curse, he got through it. A win is a win. It's behind him. You know, he can only he can only get better from here. Yeah, obviously down here as a fan checking out the action. Um, what's your thoughts next for Robert Easter as he moves forward? I, I would imagine that he'd like to look into a. a unification bout. Obviously his his big brother is, is tied up with uh, Garcia coming mm -hmm. up in uh, July. Uh, what about uh, Flanagan or um, and everybody's kind of skipped my mind at the moment. The other, uh, oh, Lenars. Oh, Lenars. I, you know what? I honestly think him, him in a fight with Jorge Lenares it, it would be a beautiful sight. You know what I mean? That, right. That's a lot of skill in one ring. And for 12 <laughs> rounds, it'll be a lot of a lot of countering, a lot of tip attack, a lot of speed, man. And, you know, that's, and as a boxing fan, I, I would love to see a fight like that happen. All right, I'm working my way back to when we might see you back in action, but um, I know it was recently announced that uh, August 4th, I believe, Clarissa will be going up for her mm -hmm. uh, first world title against Nikki Adler up at uh, Detroit MGM Grand. And... Um, What's your thoughts on that? Are you excited about that uh, type of, type of competition coming to oh, the city? Oh man, I, I'm I, you know what man? I'm just excited for Clarissa. Period. You know, I'm, I'm excited for women's boxing, the way it's, the way it's starting to develop, and, and and Clarissa being on on a high pedestal of that, you know, and, and to be one of the uh, forefront leaders for for making that for making making it happen how it's happening. And um, baby got hands though. Okay. You know what I mean? And, and, and I, and I love seeing her, and, and everything she's been doing is bringing this sport back to Michigan, so I think she's doing a hell of a job. Now, for yourself, when could we possibly see you back in action? Uh, I mean, like I said, hopefully, you know, September, uh, August, September area, you know, I, I don't want to be out the ring that much longer, you know what I mean? You know, it's, it's draining. You know, I don't, I don't want to be out the, the ring that, you know, too much longer. Okay. Now I was talking to a trainer that's worked with you in the past. We got into a little bit of an argument on uh, Facebook, just a little light debate. But uh, he mentioned he had some concerns about your stamina late in fights. Mm. That seemed to crop up on you in the end of the Jared Heard fight to mm. some degree. I mean, it was some punishment, but um, your, your work rate slowed down significantly. Um, 
he suggested some kind of testing or something like that to see if there is anything physically going on. Uh, is that something that you're trying to address in any way or something that you've picked up on that you might need to look into? You know what, man? That's, that's, that's been my main priority because, like I said, skill for skill, bar for bar, you know, it's not the talent. You know, right. you know one thing we can see is it ain't, it ain't talent. You know, talent isn't beating me. Um, so, you know, now we just, you know, got to focus on doing everything else right. You know, uh, you don't get too many shots to be a world champion in this sport. You know, it's, it's not like basketball where you get to start over every year. You know, so you don't get too many chances to start back over. So now, now that I get my other, you know, every shot I get, you know, I got to do it better. I got to eat better. You know, I got to rest more. You know, I just got to start doing everything right. I ain't 20 years old no more, and I can't live like I'm 20 years old no more. So I got to live like I'm 33. Gotcha. Now, you always repping the uh, Detroit professional teams. Uh, draft just went down. I'm actually from Dayton, Ohio. Yep, uh, the Pistons uh -huh. drafted a kid uh, just south of us in Luke Kennard. Nobody comes to see the, to the D to visit as far as the free agents. Um, what can we do with the Pistons, man? Man, we need to... Uh we need to get some of them hood guys on their team, man. <laughs> you know, all them guys that's playing in the, in the PBL league. Uh, uh, Sam and, and all those guys that's, that's just going to bring you the energy, the heart, and the will to play. You know, I, I think sometimes you just overlook those kind of guys because, you know, uh, uh, you, you, you're going for the guys with more recognition. You right. know what I mean? But I just think those guys that's greedy, that's going to dive on the floor for you, that's going to get that extra loose ball, that's going to get that rebound. I just think we need guys like that, man. You know? is, is SVG the guy to lead to, the lead to turn around, or is he kind of at the end of his window? You know what, man? I think he's a great coach. I just think he don't have the right players for the system that he's trying to run. But I, I think uh, – I, I honestly thought we had great promise two years ago when, when we lost – um, to LeBron and then when they swept us, but right. you know you've seen great signs of, uh, of progress. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And then the next year we came back, and uh, I don't think we did worse than the year we did before that. So you know I, I don't know, man. I just I, you know I'm 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 pro Detroit. You know right. so anything we can do to 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 help you know Detroit get better, even if they you gotta suit me up and I gotta be Dennis Rodman, I then just follow. Got everybody. you. The you know, I, I'm, I'm there. I'm any there. any excitement on your behalf for Kennard? It seems like people are. are uh, kind of polarized on the pick. Some people think he's a bench player. I know we haven't developed Stanley Johnson and uh, Ellenson from last year. Mm -hmm. Are, do you have any excitement about Kennard coming to the team? You know what, man? You know, it was it was very. I, I don't really know too much about him. It was very few people that I watched in college. You know, Josh Jackson was one of them. You mm -hmm. know, because he's from Michigan. Mm -hmm. And um, like I said, I, I watched you know very few guys when it came down to college sports. So. We just see what happens then. Yeah, hopefully. Hope, hopefully he's a great pick. Right, right. We need it. We need it. Yeah, we need it. Thanks for your time, man. I hope you enjoyed yourself tonight and uh, safe travels back to oh, the D. Oh, man, I appreciate it. All right, peace.